What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the domain of textual analysis and the skill of theme and central idea. So first we need to define what theme and central idea are. And in this case it is determining the theme or central idea and explaining how they develop and interact in a text. So one of the most important things we have to start with is what is a theme? A theme is an underlying message about life that the author is trying to express. For example, uh, we could think about the tortoise and the hare, that old nursery rhyme. Mr. Tobin, have you heard of that one? I know that one. It's a good one. So if I asked you, what is the underlying message that the author is trying to convey or point out without explicitly saying it? What would you say it is? Slow and steady wins the race. Absolutely. Here are the different levels for theme and central idea on the cognitive skills rubric. Take a moment, pause the video, and familiarize yourself with your level. So why is theme and central idea important? As a historian, being able to identify the theme and central idea of a source will allow you to identify quickly the best sources to use in your research. And then as a writer, being able to find the theme and central idea helps you focus your writing to be more clear and concise. What does this skill look like in some of your other classes? Well, in science, being able to find that theme and the central idea of an article helps you research more quickly and efficiently. In math, uh, when you're analyzing word problems, identifying the theme and central idea will help you understand what the problem is asking for. And then in ELA, it helps you to cut out what's unnecessary and decide on what information is most important. So let's talk about some strategies for writers if you're going to incorporate theme and central idea. The first thing is to establish a clear theme and central idea before you start writing. Then you want to make sure you organize your writing, starting with a central idea, and then put your supporting ideas and details below that. And then finally, don't get stuck on creating a super unique theme. Good versus evil is a tried and true one, and then overcoming adversity, also another good one. And then as a historian, what you want to do to help you with theme and central idea is read the entire passage first. Don't decide on what the theme is before you've read everything. While you're reading, try to annotate what you're reading to help you identify what the main idea is for each paragraph. And then finally, keep in mind that with some historical pieces, you might not be able to identify a theme, and the theme might change based on your perspective. It might impact you differently. So if I was looking for the theme and the central idea of this Newzella article titled, When Do We Actually Need to Worry About Climate Change? The first thing I need to do is read the article completely, and then I'm going to go back and try to identify the theme and the central idea. So once I've read through, I've figured out that the main idea of this article is what's highlighted in blue. It reads, this is why we as humans, the most advanced and environmentally high maintenance species occupying the planet, have an obligation to both save and protect our fellow animal friends by stopping climate change before it is too late. For those of you who agree with me, there remains one question, how? So I know that this is the main idea, and then what I've highlighted in purple are the two supporting ideas that are also explained in the text. So the first one, there are two main factors that induce climate change. They're burning fossil fuels and deforestation. And then what I have below that here in green is uh, a supporting detail for that claim. I'll slide down a little bit. This is the second main idea presented here. Any species needs four essential habits or habitat requirements in order to thrive. Um, an animal needs the right temperature in his or her habitat to survive. Um, and then I found this supporting green detail for the second idea. The next thing that I did was I copied that main theme in blue and I put that at the top of my Word document. And then below that in purple, um, I copied and rephrased or paraphrased the two central ideas that I found as well. And then what you see in green uh, is taken directly from the text. And that is the two, or those are the two pieces of supporting evidence that relate specifically to that central idea. So just to review, theme and central idea is determining theme and central idea and explaining how they develop and interact in a text. 